time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. However, if you stretch the trampoline net so much, it can rip, perhaps. Well, we've tried, and tried, and tried, and failed. There is no doubt that the James Webb Space Telescope has achieved remarkable feats since the time it's been launched into space. However, it seems that things are about to go deeper than we thought, as JWT just uncovered some of the mysteries hidden from us. These unveilings can rewrite everything we thought we knew about the universe. Prepare to be shocked as you watch Michio Kaku, a physicist, unveil an extraordinary discovery that may have proven that time does not exist. A day has 24 hours, an hour has 60 minutes, and a minute has 60 seconds. However, did you ever think where these hours, minutes, and seconds came from? Well, we'll go into that in detail, but before that, let's look at the James Webb Telescope, as this will give us a better understanding of Michio Kaku's claim. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, designed to be the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, is a large space-based observatory launched on Christmas Day in 2021, providing an even more detailed and deeper view of the universe. One of the main goals of the James Webb Telescope is to study the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. It will also explore the atmospheres of exoplanets, searching for possible signs of life. With its advanced technology, the JWST will have a much larger mirror and more sensitive instruments than Hubble, enabling it to gather unprecedented data. The telescope was developed to enable us to look back to the very birth of the universe. Some of the discoveries have shocked researchers and astronomers, but an emerging discovery that they all seem close-lipped about has shaken the very foundation of our previous beliefs, especially the very beginning of our universe, the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory describes a model of the origin and evolution of the universe, proposing that the universe began as an extremely hot and dense singularity a point of infinite density and temperature, until about 13.8 billion years ago, when it underwent a rapid expansion, expanding ever since. How we've used it as a guide to understanding the universe's workings seems to be crumbling, as new images from the JWST are released, putting cosmologists and astronomers in a jittery and anxious state, some even questioning their life's work. Here's why. According to the Big Bang Theory, some of the galaxies captured by the telescope do not align with what's expected of them. This is based on an exciting twist in the Big Bang Theory. When a galaxy moves away from us, it should look smaller until it gets to a certain point where it should start looking bigger. This twist occurs because it's believed that their light left them when they were closer. But the images from the JWST defy this principle and show galaxies that are about the same size as the ones near us. By this, we mean that the JWST images show galaxies that appear the same size as those close to us, as if the universe isn't expanding and redshift is only a function of distance. For example, the JWST spotted a galaxy named GHZ2, or the Glass Z12, and astronomers have confirmed it as the earliest galaxy found to date dating back to just 367 million years after the Big Bang. What does this spell for the Big Bang Theory? Is this the end of an era? Let's find out. With the discovery of these tiny galaxies comes the crumbling of the Big Bang Theory, which has been the basis of anxiety for some astronomers and cosmologists. Over time, Pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope indicate the presence of many other dense and powerful galaxies, which have given them a hard time looking like a challenging puzzle for them. With the new James Webb Space Telescope, making sense of these tiny galaxies becomes trickier. A theory proposed was that the galaxies viewed were formed from the collision of different galaxies, but upon viewing with the JWST, no signs of such crashes were found. If they occurred, it's expected that there would be scrambles and some signs of damage on the surface, like a car would look after a crash, 
but that was absent. Instead, the JWST reveals smooth galaxies with neat spirals like the ones we see nearby. With no signs of galactic mergers, the idea that these tiny galaxies expanded into bigger sizes falls apart, and if they didn't increase, it means they weren't as small as we'd thought. Furthermore, without the illusion created by an expanding universe, the concept and argument of space expansion became invalid, presenting the researchers of the Big Bang Theory with a reason for unease and anxiety. Another area worth considering around the Big Bang Theory is that the theory proposes that the entire universe became existent after a big explosion. So, any evidence proving that galaxies existed before the date of the Big Bang only means that the Big Bang did not occur. If this happens, then the very origin of the universe becomes questionable and up for more extensive debate. Michio Kaku considered the James Webb Space Telescope as a time machine, able to peek billions of years back into the cosmos, capturing images that shed light on the universe's origins. Since the device doesn't operate on a visible spectrum, it captures incredible images of the galaxy in the infrared spectrum, revealing colors of galaxies that were initially too distant to observe with our naked eye. Not only are these colors beautiful, but they also serve the vital purpose of dating. The type and intensity of the color help to tell the age of the stars in these galaxies. Young stars radiate a special kind of blue, while older ones like our sun glow yellow and red. And by analyzing the colors, astronomers can estimate the age of the star populations in these galaxies. In the image sent back to Earth by the JWST, and according to the Big Bang Theory, the galaxy furthest away is a cosmic snapshot from around 400 to 500 million years after the universe's birth. The twist to this is that some of these galaxies contain stars that are over a billion years old, and in the correct order, nothing should be older than the Big Bang. Another way to check the correctness of the Big Bang Theory is that as we stare into space, which means looking further back in time, fewer and fewer galaxies should be represented until there are none, a cosmic dark age. Unfortunately, the current case doesn't represent the theory, as galaxies as enormous as the Milky Way were already pretty standard by even a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. Such large galaxies couldn't possibly have formed in such a short time, at least not under the constraints of the Big Bang Theory, and that's why these discoveries are challenging the foundation of our understanding of the universe. A small but interesting piece of information also suggests that the Big Bang Theory may be off on a few things, like the amount of helium and lithium in the universe. Further investigations in the cosmic microwave background CMB, also showed that asymmetries previously reported as absent were present, and the JWST also found a use in this aspect. These details might seem very minute, but as they help us to gain a more concise understanding of our universe and all that happens in the cosmos, the information used must be accurate. The errors fumble the very form and source of space-time, which influences our understanding of universal expansion, gravitational waves, dark matter, and even the ultimate fate of the universe as a whole. Although the precise nature and significance of the asymmetries in the CMB are still under investigation, they could influence our knowledge of the universe's initial conditions and its rate of expansion. Not only this, these errors have implications on our understanding of time itself. In simple terms, our understanding of time is linked to the universe's evolution since the Big Bang, so if the Big Bang theory is incorrect, we must revisit how we perceive time, its flow, and its linkage with space. When Einstein introduced his theory of relativity, it caused a paradigm shift in our understanding of space and time. The same way these new findings could lead us to a fresh understanding of the cosmos, where we'd need to recalibrate and redefine our cosmic compasses. If you've ever wondered if the concept of time exists or is made up to separate and measure the past from the present, let's study this together. A theory has surfaced that suggests that time is an illusion crafted from our human memories. 
This theory proposes that everything that ever happened or will happen is happening right now, and that time's not an independent entity, but instead intricately linked to space, forming a four-dimensional space-time fabric. Theories such as special relativity and general relativity, developed by Albert Einstein, have contributed to questioning the absolute nature of time. The laws of physics do not believe that time naturally flows forward. These laws work just as well whether time's moving forward or backward. A theory called the Big Crunch suggests that when the universe finishes expanding and begins to contract, time might start to run backward. And as the universe shrinks, it'll get hotter and a reverse Big Bang might occur. Various possibilities of what is to occur after the Big Crunch like a recycling of the universe or its reappearing someplace else, have led some scientists to a bold conclusion that time as we understand it is just a human construct. Max Tegmark, a physicist from MIT, explained this concept in two ways, saying that we could either view our reality as a three-dimensional place where stuff happens over time, or a four-dimensional place where nothing happens to everything. Also, British physicist Julian Barber views our reality as a sequence of distinct moments caught in action, like individual snapshots. His line of thought follows perfect mathematical rules, making it a timeless principle and connecting his perspective to Albert Einstein's theory of space-time, which takes center stage in our current understanding of the universe. Recently, our comprehension of Einstein's theory has sparked some crucial questions, with people wondering if discarding Einstein's space-time concept would give us a more transparent comprehension of the universe. This sounds like a travesty, but the science empire flourishes on continuously challenging, revising, and sometimes replacing theories. By doing so, science progresses. Looking back into history would show us how this process has unfolded and grown over time. From when the Earth was believed to be the center of the solar system till 1915 when Albert Einstein presented his general theory of relativity, which redefined our understanding of gravity and space-time, many theories have come between. Still, Einstein's space-time theory held its place for over a century until quantum physics was discovered. The two operate on entirely different rules and clash on many principles, creating problems in the quantum realm when theories roll out. For instance, a single particle can exist in two places simultaneously, as Schrödinger illustrated. This mind-bending idea seems irreconcilable with Einstein's vision of a smooth, continuous fabric of space-time. So, a strain is evident between these two pillars of physics, general relativity and quantum theory. To find the solution in the world of physics, scientists are trying to find a theory that brings quantum mechanics and general relativity gravity, together, and the search has led to some seemingly over-the-top but brilliant ideas. An example is the string theory, one of the most popular theories in this category. It proposes that the tiniest subatomic particles, like electrons and quarks, are composed of tiny vibrating strands or strings. The idea can be visualized by considering the strings on a musical instrument. Different vibrations or notes result in different particles. String theory is appealing because it finds common ground between general relativity and quantum physics. Still, the catch is in making the unification happen. The strings need to resonate across ten dimensions, nine spatial and one time, six more than the four dimensions, three of space and one of time we're familiar with from Einstein's theory. What are your thoughts on the theory of time? Would the JWST send back enough information to prove one of the two leading theories, or could a new theory emerge? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe.